What's going on, y'all? My name is Stevie Johnson, and I am the co-owner of Vamp Live Marketing. I am here today with someone extremely special. She's actually one of our students that is crushing it right now in the online boutique space. She is doing it, and she has a story for you today. All right. So I want I want to welcome to the stage, to the virtual stage, Angelique DeBerganza. How are you doing today, Angelique? I'm making it. I'm doing just fine. Busy, You're busy. Doing, yeah, I hear that. I hear that. So the reason I wanted to bring Angelique on is because, you know, we've been doing some sessions together and each session she has just grown so much. She's taken a whole lot of action, launching a whole lot of ads and just experiencing a lot of success. So I wanted to bring her on here to motivate those of you listening, those of you watching that are that it might be struggling in the boutique space or might be struggling with your online business. So I wanted to get her on here to tell her story. So with that, with that being said, Angelique, talk to us about how you got started in this. Tell us a little bit about your story. Okay, so I studied fashion marketing in um, college. I actually graduated with an associate's in fashion marketing. From there, I went to be a, went on to be a store manager of a very big store. However, I felt like I wanted more. Um, when I graduated school, I didn't want um to be a store manager really i wanted to start my own boutique my own store back then but you know being a college graduate you don't have any money so i'm like let me get a job so I actually worked as a store manager for five years but then i realized that just wasn't what i wanted so i went ahead and followed my dream and started my boutique my online boutique that is awesome that is awesome so no matter what your dream is no matter where you start from you can always always get to where you want but it takes having a goal and having a vision so y'all out there write down your goals it's extremely uh extremely important um so angelique tell me a little bit about when you first got started um you know starting this online boutique what were your biggest struggles coming in because i know this this boutique isn't even a year old yet so what were some of your struggles so I started, well, my boutique launched um, of May, the first week of May. So about five months old, my boutique was, but my biggest struggle was trying to find like a cold audience um, or trying to find people to shop with me. That was a big struggle. I knew who I wanted to shop with me, but getting them to trust me, getting in front of them was a big issue for me. And also I had a lot of people that supported me off the bat, but I needed to find new, new people, um, get in front of more people so that I can make you know of course a higher goal so that was a struggle trying to find the people to get in front of that was the biggest struggle the biggest struggle and honestly that's a lot of a lot of individual struggles when they start creating a business it's like i know who i want to hit but i don't know how to hit them or i don't have a strategy in order to find these people to uh to rock with my brand that's a lot of people's struggles um so let's kind of segue into the solution to all that right so um, you know, obviously you struggle trying to figure out how to do it. And then I'm sure you got introduced to, you know, running ads. Um, so kind of give us, give us a little bit about your experience running ads before you started working with us. Okay. So before I started working with Vamp, um, I actually took a course, an introduction to ads course, and it was really good. Um, but it was just that, just the introduction. Um, it told you basically, this is how you set up ads. This is what your pixel was and gave you like tips, but kind of left you on your own to figure out strategy now. And you can know how to run an ad, set up an ad and let it launch all you want to, but strategy is important. <laughs> I ended up losing about $600 trying to figure out a strategy, just testing stuff and testing stuff, and it just was not working. Um, so one of my fellow boutique peers actually um, told me, check out VAMP. They'll, VAMP, they'll help me, you know, come up with the strategy. So I decided to schedule a call with um, you guys with VAMP. Um, and it's been going well since then, since my first week working with you guys, I've been working. Well, I've gotten like cold audience sales from my ads. And that's all because of strategy and working with people that um, can help you with, you know, a strategy or build a strategy. Absolutely. That's awesome. That is really, really cool. So, you know, a lot of times that's what it takes because there's a million courses out there and courses are great and they show you like the how to's, but when you have questions, specific questions that you need answered inside of your ad account, it's important to get that that one-on-one -on -one guidance, you know, it's really yes. important to do that. So for you, I know you've been, we actually just finished our, our fourth session. So for you, I know along the way you hit a couple milestones. Do you mind sharing a little bit about that and, and kind of what that entailed? 
milestones i feel like i hit a, a lot of milestones um well a couple ones my That's first <laughs> week, <laughs> my first week um i finally was able to get a sell from a cold audience and that was just not using any lookalikes um or anything just a cold audience that was a first big milestone to me because i was kind of running ads to cold audience but it was nothing i wasn't getting linked link clicks or anything. Um, about the second week, we created different lookalike audiences and we were strategizing based off of the lookalike audiences. And I was able to start seeing sales from then. About time my third session came along, I have hit my, I hit my highest month in sales from using the different lookalikes that we created together and strategizing with what I had in stock and what I wanted to sell and using the correct lookalike audience for that. So those are a couple milestones that I've hit since working with them um, from the very beginning. Um, every time we created another lookalike or created another strategy, it worked. You know, um, he knows I will test, <laughs> like I will test, mix, match, do what it takes to um, get that result. So every time that I tested and, you know, we strategize, I hit close to my result, if not my result. That's awesome. And that's the thing. Angelique is a grinder. When I tell you she be grinding, like she is so focused. Um, you should see her ad account. She's continuously launching, always testing new things. If something doesn't work, she does not get discouraged. She knows that it's something within the data that needs to be tweaked. And honestly, she, she got it. She's got it under control, you know? So you have um, to listen. Mm -hmm. yeah. you have to listen and take advice and actually do what's being instructed for you to do. Nobody's going to do the work for you. So you're going to have to get out there and do the work for yourself. Ask those questions that you need to ask. You got to get the answers so that you can know what to do next or not even wait for an answer sometimes. Just go ahead and just do it because you never know what you might know with the right guidance. For sure. Guidance is, guidance is everything. And then when you take the action and you mix those things together, it makes an amazing, amazing meal. I don't even know what food I was going to use there, but I was going to say something. But all right. So that is amazing, Angelique. You are getting great results. You just had your record month. Um, I know there's going to be more and more record months to come. And I really just wanted to, you know, shine the light on you and everything that you're doing um, because you deserve this spotlight right now. So I'm very happy um, that you're on with us. So pretty much like right now obviously you have your brand talk a little bit about your brand the type of clothing that you offer kind of plug yourself a little bit and tell people a little bit about your brand okay so my online boutique my um store is called midday modesty um so basically all my clothes are modest clothes modest fashion um dresses only sell dresses and skirts which makes me a little different little niche down um Definitely dresses, skirts, dressed up, dressed down, comfy, um, everyday modest wear. So that's what Midday Modesty is. It's about modern, uh, modest fashion. Mm, that is really dope. That is that is awesome. And it's important to, to kind of niche down too. Um, here's the thing. A lot of a lot of people are in the same exact niche when it comes to boutiques, right? Yeah. So you're already up against a lot of competition. So yeah. if 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 it be something that you want to do, I would definitely recommend niching down into something more yeah. specific to kind of yeah. eliminate some of that competition. But even then you'll find certain competition and you have to kind of separate yourself. Mm -hmm. And the main variable that each one of you business owners has is yourself. So yes. dig into your personal bag, start showing your personality in these ads, start, start doing different creative things and you can figure out a way to pull in your target audience and get the sales and, and the things that you desire. You know, I think yes. that's really people, important. Sorry. Go ahead. <laughs> no, go ahead. Go. You. People are going to shop with you. They're not necessarily they don't necessarily shop because of something they might like they might like your ad your creative what you stand for the expression on your face um it all matters like a, a picture of you smiling might do better than a serious face it might touch somebody differently so you have to really learn your audience um before you put these ads out like know what you first of all know what you want like you can't just put ads out and expect sales you got to know what you want from the ads and make take the correct steps to get what you want you can't just be like oh i want to sell so i'm just going to throw a little ad creative or throw a carousel ad out there no you really have to know your audience and make those right what do you want to call it 
make, make the right those, decisions. Those right steps. <laughs> yeah, yeah, make, make the right, right decisions steps. with your ads. You know, that's what yeah. it comes down to. And when Angelique is telling you this, like smile, don't smile, like different variables, like she's not telling you this just to talk. She's really like testing. She's in the trenches, really mm -hmm. figuring out what's working for her. And it's done amazingly well for her. Um, yeah. I'm very, very proud of Angelique and everything that she's done thus far. I know sky is the limit for her. Um, so um, I, I kind of want to ask you what's next. We kind of talked about it before. I know you got a bunch of different things going on. Um, yeah. So just kind of plug your website and tell people uh, where they can find you. Okay, so what's next for me is basically last month I hit my highest month. So I have a whole bunch of new inventory in right now and I'm gonna have even more inventory next month. You can check me out at www.middaymodesty.com um, and shop with me or just check me out, check out my website. Um, you will probably see my ads because I'm always running ads. So you probably see my ads before. Um, Feel free to either, even DM me on Instagram just to say hi, ask me any questions. I, I don't mind answering for you. Awesome, Angelique. Well, thank you so, so much for your time. I know you are super busy. I know you are super mom uh, out here <laughs> uh, and still running your business. So that's that's really dope. But yeah, I appreciate your time. Everyone watching, definitely hit Angelique up. If you have questions, like she said, feel free to contact us as well. Um, this has been another episode of the Vamp Live podcast. We appreciate everyone listening um, and stay tuned for the next one. Peace and love.